All right, good morning. So gotten a lot of different questions, which is starting to really concern me because I've had this new format now for a while, which means many of you have not been using all of the resources that I have put into hours of work here on uh, putting this new format together in which I would completely shut the modules down if I could, but I cannot. So I have to keep that. I have been reducing the amount of material in the actual modules because it's all here in these tiles. So when you go to these tiles, for instance, you guys should be finishing up chapter seven. When you click on chapter seven, it takes you to everything you need. It gives you the main page. All of your lesson notes are here that you can download. I have broken this lesson up into four parts. So those are the lessons. You can click on the part one, part two, part three, point four. If you wanna, maybe you're still working on four and you wanna click four, it'll take you to four, all right? Um, if you just wanna go to the next lesson, you will click on next lesson and it'll take you to part one. In part one, it has all the information that you need, the objectives, the vocab you should know, and my video lesson. This is where my PowerPoint video is. It's right there. There's me holding the DNA molecule. You just need to click on it. And there's your lesson video. And then here is your guided reading for that section. Like I said, I've been, I've been reducing this down into parts. So for part one, there's your guided reading and your key. And then you can go back to the part one or you can go to the next lesson. Maybe you're doing part two today on the light reaction also. So here's part two. Here is that unit objective, not very many vocab words, thankfully in this section. Again, my lesson. And then I have an, an additional video of me doing the light reaction on the board. And then I have some supplemental videos in your Got your readings. If I want to go to the home module, the home module will have in it down below. Okay, there's your chapter quiz. It's at the home module. So once you get done, you can go back to the to the home module, click there, and it'll take you to your quiz. You go to the bottom. Here is a Erlenmeyer flask with the lab. It'll take you to the lab. You click on that icon. And then you are at lab eight photosynthesis. Nice little color showing you what we're gonna be talking about. We have our objectives, we have our keywords, we have my lesson. So again, with my lesson, I'm like asking you to pause it after each procedure. So once you get done with procedure, let's say 8.1, then you would, so you'd watch my PowerPoint 8.1, pause it there. I didn't put a pause in this video like I did in the past. You can pause it on your own and then you can click on 8.1 leaf anatomy and Marsha then goes over the model that we will be using on your lab practical. Then you can continue my presentation on the lab. Stop at 8.2, there is the disc lab. Again, keep going. When you get to the 8.4, which is where I'm getting a lot of people confused, they don't know where to get the numbers from. Those numbers are in this video right here with Marsha. She will show you that lab page with all the numbers filled in. You need to pause it and copy them into your lab book. And then lastly, you have your 8.5. I also have the link to your virtual lab, your McGraw-Hill virtual lab. I have your homework here link for your graph that you were supposed to graph. I have your lab review. Again, you can click on these and then submit your, your lab review, submit your graph. I have the lab book key. So you can make sure you check your answers as you were filling out the lab book. And then I have the lab review key. And this is one of the few reasons why I have to maintain that module because I can't put do when to open it here. So I have to put choose when to open it in that module. And here is your lab quiz. And so again, once you get done with all your lab stuff, you can either go back to the main homepage or you can go back to the module home. So when I go to the module home, that means I'm still in photosynthesis. If I'm all done now with photosynthesis and I want to go home, home, I can hit, ooh, maybe I need to put a home button on this one. But let's just say I want to go, oh, I'm going to go back to part three. I forgot to look up part three. So here we go. I go to part three 
And here is on our Calvin cycle. Again, all that information there, some more videos. But let's say um, I wanna get to the last lesson. Now, I do know the last lesson has a home home page. So that will take you to that home module. At least it should. Like I said, it's taking me time to put all these links in here. So uh, clearly I need to update this with a home link. But again, I could always just hit the home button and it takes me back to home. All right, so this is how this is all set up. And then you get your weekly schedule. I'm getting ready to add week eight here. And we are going out of order. We are going to go to chapter 10. I basically, I already have chapter eight done and I'm finishing up chapter 10. It's, it's, I just think I need to publish it. So that will be published here in the next day or so. I just want to double check all my links. And then eight will come up, nine will spend a few weeks on nine and then we're gonna have some miscellaneous chapters. So we're getting close to the end. So again, make sure that you're navigating here. If you go here, for example, I was just showing you chapter 10, you're not gonna see very much because I am taking those things out and putting them in that new format. So if you were to look at chapter 10, the only thing you're gonna see is that I've got an additional TED talk with James Watson. I have your practice. I do have a practice button in there and it'll send you here to do some practice and some additional reading on prions. And then I have to have my quiz here because I have to have that due date in there. So actually I could take it out of here, but I know some people are still trying to navigate this website. So I left it there. All the other stuff, all my notes, all my, all the lessons, all the, the videos, they're not going to be there anymore. You need to go through the homepage. You know, you need to go through those tiles and follow those sequences. That's where all your information will be located. Hopefully this is a little more helpful. Um, I did not realize that there were some people having difficulty navigating this new system. I apologize for that. So hopefully this is a little more clear. Enjoy uh, the end of your break and uh, good luck on your test that you're getting ready to take. And let me see if I can get this to stop. All right.